Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We are at Williamsburg National Golf Club with my nephew, Jack DeVore. How's it going, Jack? Good, good, good. So Jack, give us a little update on your game as far as uh, you were, you'd won the high school cha state championship with your team back to back, right? Yeah, junior, yeah, 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 back in high school. Um, and, th and that was about a year and a half ago. Now. Yeah. So um, now Jack's at college and um, not playing college golf, but he wants to start playing on the club team. Yeah. And I'm conv trying to convince him to get to a level where he can attempt to walk on. Uh, and he rolls yeah. his eyes every time. But I'm telling you, I know these college coaches, they love walk-ons because you're already paying the tuition. Yeah. So <laughs> they don't mind that. And we're, we're here with Milo Lyons. So um, I'm going to get behind the camera and uh, ask some questions and stuff, and we're going to go through a lesson with Jack because the reason I really like working with Jack is he's been through this whole journey with me before, yeah. and he's gotten all, all the stuff that I've always gotten, he's gotten it secondhand through, through yeah. me. So um, Milo... Uh, when you look at Jack, and that's, uh, uh, he's very similar to a lot of people, um, it's an interesting case study because physically he can do probably any of the moves that would be correct, but he does have some kind of motor programs that kind of limit him. So kind of describe what Jack does now and then ask him to do some stuff and just go through kind of like a normal lesson. Well, I don't know what Jack does now uh, yet, uh, <laughs> so let me watch him and for a, couple, a minute okay. and let me video a couple swings. Okay. Nope, no, you're good. you're good. Just tell me when. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so Jack Damon, the blue target, and that was started right at, so that would be called a, uh, a pull draw. Yeah. Perfect, right, Jack? Yeah, maybe what four or five yards right of it. Okay, yeah, so. let's take a look real fast at okay. what goes on in your swing. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, yep. That right arm is really getting straight through impact. Yeah, so his left leg is getting straight a little too soon. His left side's not going around quite enough, and he chases the ball just a little bit too much. And that was the pull draw. So it's from the inside a little too much, because mostly because his left side's not going around quite enough. See, and that's funny because for me already, I feel like I feel like I'm here and then doing this like a ton already, just because because I'm I'm used to being here. And then you're used to hitting it with your body closed. Yeah, yeah. I've I've seen swings of you. Yeah. But they're like a year old. Right. And I remember seeing you look like you went this way. Yeah. In right. the ball, like you're jumping up and going like yeah. this versus going like that. Kind of yeah, being more open at impact, right? You know, Milo, like you always talk about, have being able to see two pockets at impact. Yeah, I don't know what. Jack, Jack's like you can see one pocket, but it's his his actual front pocket. <laughs> 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 like my well, I I don't know why, but I remember watching a video and talking about like. Know, so like, at impact, you can see his, his body kind of goes... Face on here, yeah. Kind of tilts. His pelvis kind of goes up and forward. Yeah. And then he kind of scoops through it. You know, it's not a bad golf swing. It's, it's a good golf swing. It's just not optimal. Yeah. So what we'd like to do is have... So I'm going up instead of through, You're going right? like this way. Yeah. Okay. Not that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want you to move the ball position a hair more forward. Okay. Have your stance kind of like what Brendan gave you, a little open, face okay. a little feeling like it's a little open. Okay. Set up here. Okay. So to me, if I, if we were aiming at the blue flag, this would be very open to me. Move know. the ball a little more forward in your stance. Okay. There. Okay. Good. Now swing the club back here to me. Okay. Good. Now I want you to feel like this wrist stays back like this okay. at the same time. Your body goes around like that. Okay. So you're you're feeling like. So my my left wrist feels like closed. You I guess. You might feel a hair bowed. Bowed. Okay. Mainly what I want you to feel is the extension in this wrist. But I want you to feel like the club head okay. and this hip are getting as far separated as they can get. Okay. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Yeah. Versus. Yeah. The yeah. Club the, head the, catching that the hip. The throw. Does that yeah. make sense? Okay. Yep. Okay. So you're gonna so, feel that. Here and then separate. Yep. Okay. okay. Just hit me some little small ones. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, that's fine. That was different. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> here and then there. Ball a little more forward. Good. Even a little more than that. Okay. That sounded good. Yeah. Where'd it go? Left. Yeah. So your body moved a little bit better, but you still did this with your wrists. You still unloaded okay, that. Okay, so I gotta feel like I'm holding them, right? You've gotta feel like the right hand is staying. Put your hands on the club. Okay. Swing it back. So you're gonna feel like your right arm stays. Let this have a little fold. Okay. This is gonna stay under. I gotcha. The face can't flip over if you do that, right? Right, yeah. So you're gonna feel it. It's so gonna instead feel of dumping like, it, I gotta feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's gonna feel like it never dumps. Okay. It, it will, but. Okay. Here and then. Hair fab, but right at the target. Mm -hmm. So show me where you're trying to go impact wise. I want to see what your brain thinks. Okay. So show me impact. I think I'd want to be like there. This has got to have a lot more bend in it. Okay. So it's going to... You don't have to be this turned. So my right elbow needs to be closer to my right, body. You don't have to be quite that turned. Okay. So you're going to be a little turned. Okay. This can have a little straightening. There you go. And this elbow's got to have a little bit of fold in it. Okay. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Does that feel different? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's where you're headed. Shoulders yeah. much steeper, Jack. Shoulders are way more steep, yeah. way more turned this way. Okay. So you're going to feel more like that. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. I feel like that's like standing up the... Come here, my little one, from face on. Do it again, Jack. Just watch his hip. Do it again, Jack. Watch his left hip. That's not how it goes. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. He's doing like, when I see people watching Instagram videos of, yeah. of the Cali move, yeah. That's kind of that's what they do. It's like I see everyone under 30 on a range is doing that. So yeah, so I don't. Show him kind of how the hips should move. The hips okay. should move symmetrically. You don't this doesn't just back up immediately. What okay, happens, see that's what I was feeling. Swing it up. Okay. This goes this way. Uh, so it's more like down. It's down and around and left. Okay. Does that look different from face on Brendan? Yeah. That's what you're so feeling. Down. Uh, no, you did the same thing. Here then down. Down and around, and yeah. around and left. Okay. Not not this way. So that you don't go to your lead side. You don't want it to just back up to your back foot. Oh, okay. You want it to go up. Down. To the lead foot. Okay. I gotta go. Feel like I'm going way down first. You're going down and forward Cause, like this. Because pre previously my initial thought was here, and then I feel like my left, my left side is just like no. spinning out. No. Okay. So it's more of a down and then around. You have to tell us what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. So previously, I had been feeling like it was here, and then I feel like my left side wanted to back up, yeah. like you didn't that. Do that though. Okay. Yeah, I need to feel like I'm going way more down. <laughs> and on to your lead side. So yeah. It's got to feel like it's going down. Yeah. So up, down, forward. Yeah. Feel how much I'm pulling you back this way. Yeah. So it's like you're trying to take this pocket yeah. and knock me over right here. Right. Way back here. Instead of back there, though, almost over yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. For you. Right arm under. Okay. Your, your hips like worked really well in that one. Yep. Really? Hips are getting better. Now we got to match up what his hands and arms do. Okay, so here, and then down in that way. Okay. A little push draw almost on target. 
Yeah, I had that song. Milo, I noticed like with the school and stuff, and the last thing that people seem to catch is the bottom. You know, the last thing that is a good bottom. Mm -hmm. So what's the key to then starting when you're working on something to start having a good uh, low point control? Well, low point control is there's so many, there's multiple elements that go into being able to control the bottom of your arc. It's the unwinding of wrists blended with the lowering of your body and the opening of your body. So a player who is used to doing one thing, like if you're used to going up in this way, then your bottom is controlled by throwing. So if your bottom, if, if this throwing is what you're used to doing and now we make you go around and lower, you're probably not going to catch it solid for a minute. But don't get too frustrated right away. Stick with the, the, the pattern. Cause, How's that feel, Jeff? Yeah, perfect. Because what happens is your hands start to catch on to what they need to do to match what your body's doing, which is they need to do a lot less. When you start lowering and rotating, your hands don't have to do nearly as much. Here and then. Around. Down and around. Okay. Do that again. Okay. Go around. Now you're going to feel like your, your head stays back. Okay. Now keep turning. So you're... Chest is gonna. Okay. Chest is gonna feel like that. Okay. Okay. I don't want that face to flip over. I actually want to see the ball fading for okay. a minute. Now, how good is that? Yeah. I hit that hard. Do that again. I want to see it face on. See if you can catch that face on with your phone, man. One of those. Because we saw the jack in the beginning. Okay. Oh, that's oh, that's not good. Delete. Yeah, that one wasn't it. Pressure's on there, buddy. <laughs> Move the ball more forward. There you go. Up on your left side, you can tap your toe even. Yeah. How'd you hit it? Perfect. Was it a little push draw? Yeah, I'm perfect. almost dead straight. Let's review this. Do you want to see this, Jeff? Sure. So it's still just a hair scoopy. Yeah. Yeah, about, an, about two inches better, though. Yeah, about two inches better. So there's some other things I see, but can only give you so much in one one five minute session. Yeah. So you kind of go straight to your left foot this way. Yeah. There's not a lot of flow in your in the way you move. Okay. It's just turn. Yeah. yeah. One thing I thought was interesting uh show, try to do that step drill I was showing you Jack before. <laughs> and just with you know air swing. Okay. Air swing. So back and then Yeah. And look, he's basically got no he cannot do it. No, the one where you start out here. Uh, yeah, I don't like that one. Don't hit a ball. Just yeah, show me the... Ball. Okay, so here? Yeah, yep. all the way more, more and more open. Yeah, now swing back and step forward. Yeah, see how he can, he's got no force. Yeah. Like that yeah, it's awkward. Forward. I don't like it. Yeah. So, so start with uh, Start with your feet together. Go back. Start with the club out in front like this. Yeah. Now step your right foot. Okay. Now the club. Now step your left foot. So he has to sequence it. Step, yeah. step, step. Yeah, but you gotta move your mass yeah. when you step. You can't just put a foot out there. Yeah. So it's step. So my mass is moving a little bit. You have to learn how to time those things. Because yeah. you're you're trying to step and swing down at the same time. Yeah, so just because that's what I've been so used to. I know, that's yeah. that's where your sequence is just a little bit. Yeah, long. yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I'm sure so, it is. Learning how to do something where you add some flow in a step. Yeah. See, how, they're, see yeah. how that works? Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I want to like, I want to get here and then let this come down and then do it. But really, you want this to go first and oh, then, yeah. The second way you just did it, just did. Yeah, so here and then like that almost. So do one for me right here. This is going to be a cool one. Okay. So you're going to start back. Okay. About the time your hands get 
this high, yeah. I want that foot to, to be stepping and hitting the ground. Okay. So go ahead, start stepping. And so you keep turning mm -hmm. when you step. So you're stepping and turning at the same time. Okay. So. Your foot and your right shoulder are getting like far away from each other. That was good. Okay. Do it again. Turn, step, go. That was pretty good. Okay. So let's see you hit one. Okay. Can, can you do that? Yeah, feeling? I can try. Let's see. Pretty good. Yeah. So now without moving your feet, I want you to move your heel, let your heel do it. Okay. So you're going to feel like this heel comes up, it steps, and then the, then you swing. Okay, so here and then feel like the... Like so let the heel come up in the back swing, so you're going to go okay. heel up. And then, okay. Then plant it and go. What do you think of that one? Yeah, I mean, perfect, right at it. All right, so give, give Jacket something so when you're gone it's, uh, that you want him working on before he sends you a video or next time you can. So mainly I want you to work on the sequence of changing directions and letting your arms feel like they're still, your arms and torso feel like they're still going this way as you're planting and unwinding. So I, I need to feel like they're still going back when I'm already, my left side is already like opening up. Yes. Almost. Okay. So there's, gotcha. your hands and your torso are still going, still just finishing their, their winding. And then feel like my weight's on my left. Is, yeah. See how those are countering each other? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hit one more for Jack and then, okay. I'll, then I'll do a wrap it up. Okay. All right. Uh, fix your alignment up. Yeah, that was hit hard. Is it long, Jack? I think so. I, I hit it good. Yeah, Come closer to me. Come yeah, here, Milo. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're interested in coming to a future Be Better Golf School, go to bebettergolf.net slash school. Any information for future schools will be there. If you're interested in Milo looking at your swing, go to milolinesgolf.com. There's a promo code for Be Better Golf there. You can use the promo code BB golf monthly or bb golf yearly and that will uh give you a promo code for your great website that a lot of people are getting better. i think it's be better golf monthly or be better I'll golf be better. yearly yeah, I'll do that <laughs> <laughs> all right you can also go to milo's great website which is milolinesgolf.com and there is a promo code for called be better yearly or be better monthly uh for milo's great website a lot of people from all over the world right milo yeah Not we've just got people from probably like 30 countries now it's oh. crazy uh, signing on there and Milo and his team have been uh, doing monthly evaluations and all there's a, also a really cool online community that golfers are connecting with each other and getting better through that website and helping a lot of people and thanks for your help too yeah, yeah of course, Bye. Of course.